and if I click on it cool I get what I wanted which is the 2024 tax document but on the other hand if we go to the attackers machine and go to agents we can see that the attacker also got what he wanted which is full access to the Windows target machine so in this video we will see how hackers can fully control a Windows machine by tricking the user into clicking an innocent looking PDF file by the way this video is for educational purposes only it will teach you how you can prevent something like this from happening to you all right so we have Kali Linux running in here and this will act as the attacker machine and I have a Windows machine here as well that will act as the target machine we'll be using an awesome post exploitation c2 framework tool called Empire I've been using Empire since 2018 or so and it's only getting more powerful it is currently maintained by BC security and it comes with extensive features such as supporting fully encrypted communication between the agent and the listener customizable bypasses for anti-malware programs and it supports donut shellcode generator which is a tool that converts dotnet assemblies and scripts like javascript and vbs scripts into a standalone shellcode which eventually allows code execution in the memory without touching the disk and for this video we'll be focusing on its web application GUI called star killer we'll check it out in a second so you can install empire by cloning the repository and running the installation scripts as you can see in here i already have it installed so let me spin up the empire server by doing sudo powershell empire server hit enter put in the sudo password for kali and cool now we have the empire server running with no issues let's open up another terminal window and i will do star killer in here again this is the web application graphical user interface for empire because empire has also a cli a command line interface that we can also use instead of the gui one so let's hit enter and we got redirected to the Starkiller login page. Notice that it is currently running on our local host on port 1337 and the default login credentials are Empire Admin and the password is password123. Hit on submit and now we are logged into the console. Alright so this is how Starkiller looks like at the time of recording this video and from here we can control almost every aspect of Empire from this console. So for this video we will create a stager and a listener. I'm already in the listeners tab as you can see so let's create a new listener by hitting on create and for the type I will choose the HTTP listener and here we can configure the listener. Notice that it will automatically grab our machine's IP address so that's pretty cool. I will keep everything as default for now and I will hit on submit and cool we can see that listener has been created. Let's go back to the listeners and we can see our listener running in here. Next we will create a new stager and stagers are initial payloads that are used to establish a connection between the attacker and the target machine. So let's go to stagers and hit on create. And since we are dealing with a Windows target, I will filter for a Windows stager. And we have so many types that we can choose from. In this case, I will use the Windows Launcher Bat, which is very common by the way. It comes with a brief description as you can see this will generate a self-deleting bat launcher and it only works with http listeners and similar to the listener we can also configure the stager from this page i will call it uh, pc1 and let's specify the listener that we just created which is http so we are telling it to generate a stager specifically for that listener and the language is powershell that's fine with me and i will change the output file to be called stager.bat and i will actually switch off the self-deleting function because i want you to see what happens when we execute the stager we can also obfuscate the payload this will make it less recognizable for signature based antivirus programs we can also enable different types of security bypasses such as powershell logging bypass the event login bypass and even anti-malware scan interface bypass which is the microsoft amsi i don't need to use any of these for our scenario so i will simply hit on submit and cool we can see the stager has been created we can download it by clicking on the download button let's put it in the apache 2 server so we can grab it from the windows machine so let's fire up apache by doing sudo service apache 2 start 
and I will move the stager file by doing sudo mv downloads stager .bat and I'm gonna move it to var www.html and now our stager.bat file is being served on our Apache 2 server so let's switch to the target machine and I will save that stager file to my desktop by doing uh, cd desktop and I'm gonna curl it by doing curl 172.16.237.132 which is the IP address of the Kali Linux machine I'm gonna put 444 because my Apache server is running on that port instead of 80 and I'm gonna specify the stager.bat file that I want to download and I'm gonna save it as the same name hit enter and here we have the file now obviously hackers wouldn't send the file as is they would obfuscate it make it more realistic to have the user click on it for example to make it appear more realistic hackers can utilize a windows shortcut to run the stager and let's assume that the user is expecting a tax document because it's tax season in the us so in this case we can modify the batch script file and have it open a pdf file instead so let's call it taxes.pdf for example let me show you what i mean i will create a new folder let's call it taxes move the stager into that folder we will need a .pdf icon and a .pdf file and i have those in my documents folder i will copy and paste them here we can then create a new folder and call it whatever you want i'll put a dash and let's move these files into that new folder into the dash folder now let's modify the stager.bat file and let's have it run the tax 2024 pdf file along with the empire payload and we can simply do that by doing start forward slash b percentage tilde dp0 and this will tell it to look into the current working path and then i'm gonna give it the tax 2024.pdf file i'm gonna save it and exit then i'm going to create a shortcut for that batch script so right click show more options and create on shortcut let's call it uh, 2024 underscore taxes.pdf we can also change the icon of this shortcut so if i go to properties change icon select the icon file hit apply and OK. Let's move this shortcut to the parent directory. And we can even hide the whole folder to make this shortcut file look even more innocent. Tick the hidden attribute and hit on apply and OK. It officially disappeared. Nice. OK, now let's play the target user role. Let's assume that I downloaded this folder from an email that my accountant has sent me and they are asking me to sign the form ASAP. Um, everything seems legit, looks good. And if I click on it, cool, I get what I wanted, which is the 2024 tax document. But on the other hand, if we go to the attacker's machine and go to agents, we can see that the attacker also got what he wanted which is full access to the Windows target machine. And if we click on that agent, we can check out the file structure from the file browser tab. We can also check out the tasks that we have run before. We didn't run anything so far, only the initial stager. And we can view the details of the agent from here. Let's go back to the interact tab. And from here, we can use any of the 431 modules that comes with Empire. For example, I can use the trolling message module, which is called PowerShell troll exploit message, just to show you that we can literally do anything on this device. And let's say you've been hacked and hit on submit to send this execution module. And here we have the notification saying you have been hacked. And so attackers can do so many things from this point, such as establishing persistence, capturing keystrokes, dumping your saved credentials and even accessing your webcam. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more videos about Empire so we can fully cover what it can achieve. Since this is an educational video, I don't have antivirus programs running on this VM. So we as ethical hackers can simply establish a reverse connection back to this Empire C2 server without even using any bypass methods. So keep in mind that I cannot show you everything in here. YouTube has its limits. So the advanced payloads and evasion techniques will be taken down. That's why if you want the unfiltered side, 
please check out my Patreon page in which I upload videos that cannot be uploaded on YouTube. Now to help mitigate these types of attacks, make sure to have your hidden files and file extension view ticked so you can see what file type you are clicking on as well as see any hidden files or folders. Now even though antivirus programs can be bypassed, at least have Microsoft Defender enabled if you are a Windows user. This will minimize the risk of falling for this attack. Speaking of security, to secure yourself from this attack, keep your system updated because regular system updates and regular updates to the antivirus program will help detect new and known malware. Also think of adding more security controls to your environment to help mitigate these types of attacks. For example, a network firewall with an IPS solution can help detect and block unusual traffic. Believe it or not, most of these attacks can be prevented by a basic user education. So be cautious with email attachments, even if it's coming from a known contact, always double check the authenticity of what you guys are installing on your device because that's where it all matters. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys have learned something useful from it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.